Nerdas, welcome to Mothership, streaming on Geek and Sundry's Twitch. Don't worry, everybody. Nerdist YouTube and Alpha. My name is Hector Navarro. I'm Jessica Chova, and we've combined your favorite internet moments into one massive media piece, infused it with super serum, and dressed it up in spandex to make a superhero or a villain, depending on who you ask called Mothership. Mm. Apparently there's a big thing happening on Sunday in between all of the funny chip commercials and poignant beer commercials, and we've got some <laughs> super stuff planned to prepare you guys for it. But first, because this is the time of year when a bunch of chip commercials come out, we're going to put chips and dips in our faces and comment them, comment on them. I guess I could comment them mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. During snack chat. Mm, plus, you all love the puppy bowl, right? Yes. Well, since that's been done, Jessica and I are going to one-up the cuteness with tarantulas. I'm so not on We're going to choose this. our champion and race them against each other in our very first annual Spider Bowl. You we can even see have some spiders now. right here. Oh, oh, oh! Hector, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God! You're welcome, Hector, Internet. You assholes told me to do that. Holy shit. I'm having a heart attack. You're welcome, Internet. There you go. That's why you watch this show. That's right. It's fake. It's fake. Don't worry. Oh my god. Woo! Good job, everybody. You're all assholes. Good job. Oh, oh my heart. <laughs> all right, so before you can ask, I'm like not kidding. Like, like here, don't touch my boobs, but here. OK. It's like. A mile a minute. A yeah. mile a minute. So scared. So scared. I'm sorry. <laughs> So before you can ask, although I bet at least three of you already have, Critical Role is at 7 p.m., you guys. Cool. You've got plenty of time to laugh and chat with us, please. So feel free to type everything you're thinking in the chat of your choice, and we'll be checking Jessica's in. She's really frazzled. She's real frazzled. I think we should give her a second, guys. Oh, I just okay. need to breathe. All okay. right. But first, it's Super Bowl time, and for whatever reason, a lot of people are very excited about it. So we decided to do something equally exciting, something that could be considered the best lesson in adulting. We ordered the 2,916 square inch pizza, yeah. 200 yeah. slices from Big Mamas and Papas. Our goal is to eat the whole thing by the end of the show with the help of the rest of the office. So let's bring it in so we can show you guys what it looks Ooh. like. Because it's amazing. Oh, it's like yeah. all your childhood dreams come true. Look at this. This is real, you guys. Ow, it's so there heavy. <laughs> Ow, my knees. Oh, check it out. It's you. It's so cool. Oh, like, look it up. Look, yeah. how, look how small we look. I'm, not really I'm a little quickly before the giants awake. <laughs> Let's have a slice of pizza. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. That is so cool. Half cheese, bigger half pepperoni. I like Very it. Nice. I like nice it. Nice hat. Nice hat. That Can looks oh, delicious. Thank you. Give me a slice. Give me yeah. that little corner. Yeah. This corner piece? Yeah, that tiny little, little corner? That's yeah. hardly I'm anything. I'm starting with that. Give me okay. that little piece. And also yeah. nobody else will want it. Exactly. <laughs> mm. I want, can I have a pepperoni slice with the, yeah, I'll take, oh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Nope, other one. one. Yep. Mm, good. <laughs> All right. That's great. Thanks, Amy. Of course. That's mm. a great piece of pizza. Mm. I've got a pizza hat on, so I'm the pizza lady. All right. All right, so now you guys have to take this out of here. I mean, I guess I'm totally fine with it, honestly, but lift it. Look. Oh, oh God. It Use is your heavy. back. It's not Don't. light. All right. Bye, guys. So everyone's going to want some, and we've still got a show to do. We're going to eat this, though. Mm -hmm. Take it out to the kitchen where Critical Role is setting up, but they're not allowed to have Don't it. Don't let them they, have any. They get plenty of stuff. They have too much things. They get too many nice things. Too many nice things. We need something nice once in okay, a while. Okay, guys. Damn no, it. it's not. That's BS, Amy. It would be. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go diva upstairs and make sure they uh, don't get that pizza. That's a pizza cam. Okay, bye guys. We're gonna check in with you guys later to make sure that none of that delicious za goes to waste. And now, a quick question: Is the theme of your browser windows quantity over quality? And actually, fuck quality. I just have quantity. Well, we're here to help you out because you've got too many tabs. <laughs> So first up, it's the year of the cock. <gasps> you can't just say that. <laughs> I'm talking about the rooster. Um. Although, if you guys want to make a quick giphy, here we go. Cock, 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 and cock. And even better, because Chinese astro astrological signs are also associated with one of the five elements. Did you know I'm a fire snake, mm. FYI? Uh, I'll bet. This specifically is the year of the fire cock. And while we in the States might celebrate with some kind of topical ointment, in China they go full Star Wars laser battle, which mm. looks amazing. Mm. <laughs> 
I think it's safe to say that China one-ups us in fireworks. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Don't do that. Don't play. Don't play like and try it. Harry Potter versus home. Voldemort. Mm -hmm. Definitely a bad idea. I mean, those are not small fireworks. That entire city block is demolished. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like lived. trying to burn your friend's face off. Yeah, they live, though. Good for them. Celebration of the new Good for year. Them. Next up, for dudes, fertility testing can be a real hassle. Oh, yeah, it's so tough for your life. You have to... It's true. It's, uh, it's the worst. I can't think of anything that could be worse for either gender, honestly. Oh. You have to go to the urologist, take a physical exam, get a hormone evaluation, and, of course, provide a tiny sample of your teeny tiny Michael Phelpses. There's <laughs> got to be a better way. Good news, Hector. Thanks to science and the male addiction to convenience, there is. Introducing the Yo! Home Sperm Test, where all you need is a smartphone, 50 bucks, and a home. And I think that last part's actually optional. To start, yeah. collect your sample in the collection cup provided. Then add one vial. I mean, that was water. Here's the thing, though. Why wouldn't you just get, like, a plastic seconds. cup out of your, your cupboard and watch some Pornhub? Let your sample <laughs> rest for not have to pay minutes. for any of it. And while you wait, right? why not take the yeah. Apparently, all it's challenge. giving you, oh, well, I oh. forgot you got the test strip. You get the, yeah, plus a trivia challenge. Yeah. They ask you questions about sperm whales, and you're like, well, I don't know. Is yeah. it this? Not exactly. What? I learned something? I love, okay. <laughs> I love that there's cool. a challenge. I mean, do you get achievements? Clip over mm -hmm. the top of like, what kind of achievements do you get? Trophies. You get trophies. You get trophies. Okay, so after it's been mixed. Place the tip of the pipette on the red dot. Look at Slowly that. pinch the pipette and watch you? as your sample fills the you slide tank. You got a lot of it measures, it, the yeah, it measures the concentration. The all the way. Place your phone on the table and tap start testing. Whoa. Whoa. Ew. Whoa. Yo will capture a video of your sperm and the analyze QC. your swimmers in action. Watch your cool, I got a lot of sperm. <laughs> Wait, did you get a video of it? Stretch the screen to enlarge your sperm. Oh your my no god! Way. I want His mind is blown. Until you delete them. I would post Instagram pics of my sperm all day. You should totally get this, dude. And yeah. you should totally Instagram your sperm. Would, Jess, that'd be awesome. I would. If I Look out, Beyonce. Some. We're about to get the most liked photo on Instagram Seriously, right here. right. Jessica totally. Chobot's sperm. Uh -huh. Apparently uses that smartphone peripheral and and uh, it, it, to, to, it films the sperm and then measures our concentrations. It only takes a few minutes and some spunk. Did we mention this was the year of the cock? You wouldn't use that? You wouldn't yeah, like, I mean. Sure. I mean, I guess. the video alone. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, 50 bucks is probably less expensive than to go to a doctor oh, to let them know. Yeah, okay. I would think. Makes sense. Unless, yeah. well, unless you have health insurance, but I don't yeah. know if it's like. If you don't, there you if, go. If 50 bucks, bang, bang, boom. Yeah, of like course, if you are going to try this little test, you might want to consider switching to a Kyocera Rafri, billed as the world's first hand foam soap washable smartphone. This thing will clean up nicely after you've done <laughs> your jizzness. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do, look at this. I'm gonna do the Winona Ryder pizza faces. Ready? Yeah. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. GIF? <laughs> that's pretty good. I just like the word jizzness. I think that that's great. I like jizzness. That still stressed me out though, watching that phone getting washed. Yeah. Really stressful. I, you gonna uh, get it though? Well, Maybe? I don't think it's a terrible idea because phones yeah. are pretty disgusting when you really think about it. And we do often play games and read and all that other junk mm -hmm. on our phones while we're going to the bathroom, or at least oh, I yeah, do. On the toilet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have, I did drop my phone, like one of the first iPhones that I had, I dropped in the toilet because I was at this E3 after party and I forgot it was in my back pocket. Tell and me I about stood it. up and while I was pulling up my pants, it fell, but I hadn't Blue. flushed it yet. <gasps> Number one or number two? It was a uh, number one and two. Oh, gross! And then you fished it out of there? I fished it out Enjoy and... Enjoy the rest of that guess pizza. Guess what? I kept using it. Yeah! Hello, poop yeah. on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Chobot at E3, whatever mm. year. Mm. I shook everybody's hands that year. Now, if you've ever been to Australia... <laughs> I'm choking. Or YouTube, you'll know the country is chock full of all sorts of cute, deadly, or cute and deadly creatures. Plus, it's also a giant island, so it's impossible to escape the wildlife, no matter how fast you're going. Check this video out, guys. Yeah. It's a good one. All right, that was my last fight. Because I'm sure everybody's listening to me just smacking my lips on the... Don't let uh, that crust go to waste. I'll eat that later. All right. Oh, my gosh, a kangaroo just hit. Look at that. Yeah. 
Peter James Roberts posted the footage to Facebook stating that uh, this kangaroo actually clipped his, look at this, look at this. Clipped the helmet. Clipped the helmet mm -hmm. of his friend. Uh, for those of you who missed it, there you go. We I'm slowed it down for you. I'm that he managed to stay on his bike. That's pretty amazing. Well, Australians are tough. They're used yeah, to that stuff. Tough. They're yeah. used to drive-by roos. That's what they call them, just a drive-by roo. That's what they call them? Probably, right? If you're Australian, <laughs> let us know in the chat. Actually, okay, yeah, thanks. I think we do have a couple Australians yeah, in the chat sure. on occasion. So, yeah, let mm -hmm. us know. What do you call? Yeah. What is the slang for a local kangaroo drive-by? Immortal Amazon says, LOL. I don't know if they're laughing at Jizzness or a giant pizza or the kangaroo, <laughs> but it's all hilarious. It's great. It's good. Also, Kirk Daniel says, who's the behind-the-scenes crew with the bun on her head and the flannel shirt? She's super cute. Mm, Kirk Daniel, good time. Hey! Here we go. Nice. I see Don Kirk Daniel. Speaking of terrifying animals, <laughs> roboticists at Caltech have designed one of the most flexible, smart bat bots to date. It can autonomously fly. Its wings can't be easily punctured. The only thing it can't do is turn back into a vampire. Aww. See, That's I, a bat I, bot. Yeah. It, I mean, it's cool. I, I love bats, mm. but that one's kind of... See, this is where I get torn. I think it looks really neat, and it looks like it's flying like a bat, but, mm -hmm. I mean, essentially it's a glider. So I mean, the wings are made of 56 micron silicone-based membrane, which is virtually indestructible. The robot has only achieved true flight for only 30 meters, but apparently it's pretty impressive as far as mimicking real animals' flights. So I guess it's impressive? Yeah, I guess well, I mean, so. it looked legit. It looks legit. cool. It's a cool just drone. Just kinda, yeah. Fun yeah. little drone. Well, yeah, it's a cool drone. All right, so yeah. not to be outdone, the good folks at Google's Boston Dynamics have created their own Robo Freak so that we can get yet another whiff of what the end of the world is going to look like. Mm. <laughs> it's just it's terrifying. Scary. Yeah, so this is the leaked demo of a wheeled, self stabilizing robot. Um, it's much more efficient than a legged robot, which is a terrible fucking idea. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that wow. thing. It's Gizmo Duck from DuckTales, it's but it's so terrifying. It's so well balanced. <laughs> it's terrifying. Whoa, look at that. I, oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, that's weird. Now, that's it pushing is. it too far. Too yeah. far? <laughs> too far. I guess the T100 <sighs> model is going to have wheels on it, and then they'll eventually upgrade to the T1000. Yeah. It's a Terminator reference. Terminator I get it. is a science fiction it. film. No, I know. Created what by James Cameron. I just didn't really think scary. it was funny, but that right. was cool. Good point. Good point. Yep. True, 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 true. Yeah, and finally, in the year of the fire cock, you can expect a few fires. Luckily for these Chilean firefighters, they have a good Samaritan around to help them make way for reinforcements. Oh, this poor guy. Okay, so this guy. <laughs> so he's, he's trying to let him out. Trying to let him in, yeah. He's trying to let him in. And these uh, firefighters uh, have to let him know. I mean, they let him know afterwards. He um, must know. There's got to be a reason, right? This is to get a fire truck in. And apparently, the firefighters let him know afterwards, like, oh, we just came in through another way. And we'll just walk around this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're cool, dude. Aww. And you can tell he does that thing where he like just like Aww. he walks away like yeah, yeah, that's cool. But you could tell he was very embarrassed yeah. that the yeah. firefighters just walked through. I call that the Andrew Bowser walk. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like, I don't know. When yeah. you get hit with the knowledge that it just you just failed. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's great. I guess. Too, too I, much? Too mean? I gotta. I want to. Too wanna, mean? He's not watching, is he? I gotta read this comment okay, earlier the on comment. the on the alpha chat. Uh, Kelavra BD says, there's no amount of neat tech that'll convince me to put my baby gravy anywhere near my smartphone. I love that comment. I guess. Love that. Anywhere near my smartphone. Nah. That's it for Too Many Tabs. If you have any videos you want to share with us, and I'm very, very serious about this, just tweet them to at Join Team Alpha, use the hashtag Mothership, and maybe we'll use them on the show. Right, Jess? Yes, maybe. Uh, probably most likely, since yeah. we haven't really gotten a bunch. Come so on. send them our way, and we will probably definitely maybe use them. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. And now, there's no reason to be mean to anyone, I guess. Even if they deserve it, come on, this is definitely not written for me. And especially if they can't defend themselves. I mean, come on, now you're just trolling me now. I almost punched you in the face. I almost just did that again. <laughs> All right, so that's why you, the internet, will absolutely love Matt Myra and Emmy Blotnick trolling a literal piece of meat in Sidekick with Matt Myra's first ever pot roast roast. Emmy. Matt. Because you wrote for the roast, I, I thought it'd be a good idea if we would relive the triumph of tearing up some new assholes and people. Uh, we're gonna have a couple of cheap laughs here. I know we don't have the budget to get a Rob Lowe in here, you know? So we've done the next best thing. Uh, we're gonna have another roast right here on the stage. There's only two of us. Uh, couldn't have a guest float in. Point is, I am going, we're gonna roast an actual 
salty, delicious pot roast. Oh, man. <laughs> it is time for Sidekick with Matt Meyer's first annual pot roast roast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Simmer down, especially you, roast. Uh, now, before I get started on the roast, I just like to say uh, I haven't seen a dais this Jewish since Five-ish Finkel's bar mitzvah. <laughs> Five-ish Finkel, picket fences, guys. Picket fences. He was the old Jewish lawyer getting the. Okay, seriously, uh, Emmy Blotnick is so Jewish that Mel Brooks once told her to tone it down. Uh, Emmy, I don't want to alarm you, but this pot roast has salt. <laughs> Jews don't salt their food. I keep telling my wife that, and she doesn't agree. <laughs> All right, uh, roast. Now, I've known the roast for, uh, for a long time. We go way back. I'm talking way, way back, almost baby back. <laughs> that came right back at me. <laughs> hey! Uh, so I know, a lot, I know a lot of people consider this asshole pretty unpalatable. Uh, in fact, on the BuzzFeed quiz, which Star Wars character are you? The roast got chewy. Yeah. <laughs> chewy. Bad at that. Bad at that. Uh, this meat bag is also a terrible storyteller. His uh, punchlines are always worth it, but this chunk of chow's a slow burn. <laughs> Pot roast is cooked. Low and slow. <laughs> I'm so bad at throwing cards. Uh, but seriously, you're the best roast I've ever known. You're taking it like a champ, but uh, you kind of deserve it. You're always giving me a good ribbing. Oh. God bless. <laughs> This is exciting. Okay. Oh, thanks for having me, Matt. Of course. What can I say about Matt Myra that he hasn't already said on 77 mediocre podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> really, thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's uh, great to be your excuse to eat red meat late at night. <laughs> Uh, let me get to the roast here. I don't want to get in the way of your love. <laughs> so, I do love I, I have known, I've known this pot roast ever since he was just a little lump of raw meat. And I love him, but he has a terrible temperature. <laughs> 350, who is this guy kidding? In fact, he's got beef with literally everyone in this room. Um, <laughs> That's how you throw a card. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And this roast, he's also pretty thoughtless. When he first walked into the studio, he left the door open. What were you, braised in a barn? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's not how you throw a card. I kind of threw it into my own hair. OK. <laughs> this fucking roast, what a womanizer. He's always chasing skirt steak. <laughs> like a list, I, I love think. the reaction Skirt. shots of the fucking roast. Yeah, it's the best. To be like, think you can handle this? Anyway. <laughs> I don't even know why he bothers chasing tail when he's got such a short loin. Seriously. I've seen better beef curtains at Jumbo's clown room. In fact, the only time he's ever been able to satisfy anyone sexually is when he's stroking off. All right. <laughs> but, but seriously, I love you, man, meat man. I love you, meat man. <laughs> I've never known anyone more tender, and I simply can't wait to eat you. <laughs> and that's it for the pot roast and roast. Yeah. <laughs>
You can catch Sidekick with Matt Myra Wednesday at 9 p.m. on ProjectAlpha.com. Be sure to catch the season finale next Wednesday, February 8th, with host Jonah Ray and special guest, some guy named Chris Hardwick. I don't, I'm not familiar. Yeah. I love the part of the show... <laughs> joking. Where Jessica and I eat things, and you guys watch and get jealous. But this first, has been a very, it's a very, very food, food heavy, heavy show today. Heavy food heavy show, which I'm totally on board with. But in first, fact, if we just became yeah. a food review show, I'm totally chill with that. Oh, too. I think we would like that, right? <laughs> yeah. I would. Yeah. Let's just go around to restaurants in Los Angeles and be Anton Ego from Ratatouille. But first, let's watch other people eat things while we get jealous. Amy, give us a damage report on that big fucking pizza. All right. Uh, hey guys, we're here at the pizza. I've got Talison with me. Um, <laughs> hey Talison, why don't you tell us how the pizza eating is going? I, I actually I don't know how the pizza eating is going. I have no idea what's going on. I was I was brought here with the promise of a giant cardboard box, and they have not delivered yet on my giant cardboard box. Someone needs to 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 help me with that. We are gonna get you that cardboard box, but first we have to finish. No, our tally says that we've eaten 100, but we are well past the halfway point. Wow. Uh, oh my gosh. Can you see They've that? They've destroyed that. Yeah, it's it's almost gone. So if anyone was concerned about the critical rollers getting um, a slice, you you have cause to worry. I'm, I'm, I'm mostly worried about my giant cardboard box. I have great <laughs> plans with this later. It's uh, greasy, it's pre-folded, I'm very excited. Uh, you are you gonna it? get inside it? Yes, yes, I'm <laughs> right, gonna roll fantastic. inside of it. It's gonna be a big cardboard burrito and I'm just going to be like, I'm going to have skin problems everywhere. I'm very, I'm very excited. That, that sounds exciting. I have one What's last question for you, uh, Talison. Yeah. What time is Critical Role? I, it's 7 p.m., I think. It's 7 p.m. Pacific time. My God, 7 p.m. Pacific time. I have you better be sure because everyone in chat really, really needs to know. I was about to, I hope, I hope <laughs> chat knows. Chat should know. Does chat not know? Do we not tell chat these things? Chat never knows. Why doesn't chat know? Chat's supposed to tell us what time Critical Role is. Oh. Did you know there's a website called whattimeiscriticalrole.com? I did not know that there's a website. I'm going to check it right now because I've got like a few things to get well, done before the show. The more you know with Chalice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Was there any other questions you guys wanted to ask about the pizza? What time is Critical Role, though? What they also want to know what time is Critical Role? It's high noon. That's real. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's not high noon. It's not high noon. I don't know why I said that. I was feeling jealousy, and I just... I'm a very jealous person. I don't know. You're doing great. What? It's 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, was that enough affirmation? Falling apart, was so. <laughs> enough. Are you kidding? In this town? No. Never enough. Okay, well, before uh, Talison implodes in his own brain, um, I think we should throw back to you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Amy. Also, I totally told you not to let them have it. Now, we know that some of you guys love the Super Bowl for the game. Some of you love it for the commercials, and others, like Amy's mom, love it for the story. Whatever that means, it's adorable. But I happen to love the Super Bowl not at all, but because of the food. <laughs> and that's why we're going to pregame with some different chip and dip combinations. It's mm. time for Snack Chat. All right. All right, so here we go. Look These are this. our chips. We got our dips here. We've got mm -hmm. a mango and sriracha hummus. All right, let's We've try it out. We've got a very standard, typical Frito hot bean dip. Oh, I love uh, it. Tostitos queso blanco. Those are our three dips, and we've already matched them and paired them with some chips. So let's yeah. try this out. Jess, what's this first so one So this first one is sriracha potato chips. Look at that. And I've been snacking on these uh, Ooh, secretly. Spicy. They have like a vinegar kick, to yeah. the, and, but it, and then a nice burn at the back. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, I got. I gotta try them with some. I gotta try them with some dip, though. Hang on. Yeah, I'm try it with dip too. Here we go. What kind of dip is this again? This is the mango sriracha hummus. Oh my god, too much sriracha. Yeah, but you can't really taste the sriracha in here. This tastes just more like vinegar. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mmm, that's really good. That's an A for me, you guys. Yeah. That's an A. One to this ten. Is that a is a solid choice, solid, you guys. Solid 8.5, maybe yep. a nine. That's so fantastic. you can get this at Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. You can if get you do, this at get that dip. I don't know somewhere. Get that dip. Just search mango sriracha hummus. Ooh, and you'll a little find spicy. It. Whole Foods. A little spicy. All right, so this the main the dip comes from Whole mm -hmm. Foods, mm -hmm. and this comes from Trader Joe's, and you will have the ultimate hipster uh, halftime party of your dreams. <laughs> Up next, we got a classic. This is a standby Fritos flaming hot flavor. Yeah. So these mm. are super red and scare me. Yeah. Because I'm sure they are extremely. Hot. This reminds me of uh, being in fourth grade, where I ate these right. literally every day. So, bean every dip, cold bean dip, yeah. not a fan. Ooh. 
Kind of tastes like cat food. Let me get in there with that. Gonna be honest, that's a little cat foody. And I do know what cat food tastes like because <laughs> once I was moving and I was so hungry and I had no food in the house, so I'd thrown it all the way in to prep for my move. Then when I opened up the cat's wet food, it smelled real good. So I gave it a little shot. Jess, if that's if that's and, cat food, I fucking love cat food. And it was uh, it was I was so hungry it was kind of good. Gonna be honest. <laughs> I also tried dog biscuits. They tasted like sesame uh, crackers that you get at Pizza Hut back in the day. Mm -hmm. Just throwing that out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I ate that as well. Uh, don't like the bean dip, mm -hmm. but um, the fears are all right. Got a comment from the Alpha Chat. Uh, Zen Kodak says, this show's food has indeed gone a long way since fish, fish sausages. True, yeah. very yeah. true. Real gross. Very all right, so Fritos you can pick up anywhere. Frito bean dip, you can Dude, pick up Dude, get everywhere. that Frito bean dip, so good. That's my number one so far. Yeah. That's my number one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the Doritos mix, and it comes with spicy nacho, taco, salsa, and sour cream. What is it? This is so like a, a Munchies like, brand. This yeah. is amazing. It's like Chex Mix. Mm-hmm. But of chips. But from Doritos. And you've got an ad for for uh, for this year's Madden game, Madden 17. Pretty cool on the back. That right, right there. That lets you know this is gamer fuel right there. They all come in different shapes. So you got those like taquito shapes, and you got you know, typical Dorito shapes. The, in the YouTube chat, Liam Matthews says, "I live in England. Don't brag about it." <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> keep bragging, why don't you? Yeah. Cal L, great name, says mm -hmm. bean dip in a can is nasty AF, and I agree. <sighs> um, can we really trust Cal L? He's an immigrant from Krypton. What does he know? No. Oh. Come on. Too soon on those Superman. immigrant jokes. I love man. Superman. It is. It was. Um, it's entirely too soon. Real sad. Doritos tastes like Doritos. Okay. I mean, this but we kinda, have to. But yeah. we gotta try it with this yeah, queso yeah. blanco dip. Oh, okay. It's white cheese dip. Okay, let's get All a little right. Dorito action in here. It does taste like a legit taco though. Like the whole thing combined. Like you shoved a bunch. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I dig it. It's slightly different. Yeah. Pretty good, is, huh? I don't know what this shape is, but that's let's do it. The, that's the taquito shape. Oh. Pretty good. What do you think? Is it good with the queso? Try it. I like the little curlies. It is good. Sometimes I like to eat certain chips just because of their shape, not because I actually like the chip. Mm -hmm. Those little curly cues are real oh. fun. Mm -hmm. And again, the dip is disgusting. Probably because it's cold. If it was hot, it'd be better. But cold, cold dip's not a problem. All right, I'll give you that. The way to do it. I'll give you that. Oh, what kind of this? I can't see. This is Montreal Steak Spice. Hmm. Of course, from Montreal. Canada, uh, which is uh, French Canadian. Yes? Is oui? it? No? Montreal? Quebec no? is. is Quebec, Montreal? never mind. Montreal? No, Montreal is cool. I think I think Drake is from Montreal. No, I don't know. Hector. Toronto. He's from Toronto. He's from Toronto. Montreal's in Quebec. Thank you. There you go. See? So, Montreal's in Quebec. I'm French Canadian. Okay, so Montreal is then yeah. French Canadian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steel so, Miser so says Funyuns. Talk like this and nope. say, oh, let's take a bite out of this chip. I don't know. What even was that? What even <laughs> accent was that? All right, let's try oh, this out. Here we go. It's very delicious. Let's see. Okay, it's got a real spicy smell. Yeah. Gets right up in the nostrils, yeah. right off the bat. I think it's more pungent than it is taste. Agreed. Like it's more of a smell than a taste. It it's tastes more like, check out the smell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's some taste over here. There's some taste over yeah, here. Yeah, the taste Look is, at that. it's not bad. It's just, you know, not awesome. You know what it actually tastes like? It tastes like dill potato chips, like a, like a light smattering of dill potato chips. I get, I get that. I get like that. Like when you buy pickle chips? Yeah, these are from Peter and Chris, Neil Brothers Foods. These two dudes right there. Yeah. Real interesting, two guys. Peter and Chris. They're and so they're making two this dudes one. in jeans, just like, hey, what's up? Do they up? have their like family story on the back? Yeah, uh, they do. Peter yeah. and Chris remember family breakfasts and the intoxicating aroma of bold, smoky bacon, and the sweet Ooh. taste of pure maple syrup. Maple that addictive oh. combination. Dude, smell this. Ooh. How good does that smell? Is what inspired us to capture those memories with our maple bacon flavored kettle chips. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, let's try it. Oh, see, like I like the little curly. Look at Maple that. Maple bacon is oh. the best tasting chip here. Nope. Really? No? Not a really? fan? Jess! Too sweet. Too sweet. I don't eat potatoes I love it. So to taste sweet. sugar. I eat potatoes to taste, you know, mm. salt. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. That's why you have candy. That's disgusting. Mm. You liking them is stupid. <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's so tasty. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> All right, so this is what I've been very curious about. Wait, wait, wait. Since Bef we saw it. Before we get to that, mm -hmm. question from the Canadian ones. Can we buy these in the United States? Oh, I'm I don't assuming know. yes well, because yeah, we're we in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. We didn't go to Canada. <laughs> I'm assuming yeah because well, we're in LA what? and we bought them. We've got those PAs. They got to do whatever we say. Mileage. Whole Foods, you guys. Yeah. Get them at Whole Foods. Yeah, maple bacon. Highly recommend. Got to right. try it for yourself because I just hate it. I loved it. Just what's next? All right. So this is the one I've been curious about since I saw the bag. Lay's Southern Biscuits and Gravy. It's a 2015 Woo! river winner. Not river. It's a winner. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Let's, oh my God! They've got a story too. I yeah, love they do. this. Yeah. Haley Green, guys. <laughs> Haley Green is the 2015 winner. What's she gonna do with her million bucks? She says, as a wanderlust travel agent, I plan to take trips that I may otherwise have never been able to take. Uh, I say, with the current state of the world, you might want to put that in some savings instead, <laughs> and or take one of those trips and stay there for about four years. Uh, but most importantly, I will do something special for my. Oh, this is adorable, Nani. No. Nani and Grandpa, my grandparents whose southern roots inspired me to enter the Lay's Do Us a Flavor contest. Do us a flavor. Haley. Eat these. All right, okay. I'm going to eat these. I thought this was going to be nasty because the smell is overpowering biscuits and gravy. And that, to me, was off-putting at first. I tried this out. Delicious. These are really good. Delicious. It just melts in your mouth. It, d it dissolves. I mean, it's a Lay's chip, right? Haley yeah, Green yeah, yeah. is super smart and deserves yeah. to have won that million bucks. Uh, you know what? I'm going to agree with you on that. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Nanner. What did well, you call her, Nanner? By million, Nana? I mean half a million, because you know half got taken away by taxes. Mm -hmm. So just throwing that one out there. Hope I brought everybody's spirits down. Good, yay. <laughs> Thank you, Nani. Lays All is right. also Canadian, apparently, says Q Wickler. Q Wickler, that uh, Lays is also a Canadian company. Is that nice. true? No, it says Frito-Lay, Plano, Texas. <laughs> Codfish out, says... Check out the cheeseburger one. Codfish, cheeseburger oh, okay. Codfish says, so where are they answering these questions from? From the chat, mm -hmm. I guess. We <laughs> see you. We see you. <laughs> we can see you. Whoa. All right, so okay. this is, what's this? This is uh, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger Pringles, right there. Look at that. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Oh my God, that's weird. And there's like a there's like a taco truck on the cut. It's just like a cheeseburger truck. Yeah, Try one of those. Okay. That's really weird. No, okay. it's like a little food truck. I that's love not Pringles. a taco truck and Sorry, a cheeseburger a food truck, label. A food truck. <laughs> Jesus. Like, yeah, the first moment, it tastes just like, a hot second, it tastes just like a burger, and then it just turns That's into a weird. chip. That's weird. But it's, you know what I mean? Like, I need another. Mm-hmm. Once you, well, you can't just pop one, right? That's well, the Pringles slogan. I don't think they're good. They're just interesting. Perfect you know word to mean? describe it, yeah. They're not they're, bad. They're unusual. Yeah. They're like, hmm. I wonder what that tastes like again. Okay. And again. Have you had, and I think the answer to this question is probably going to be no, huh. considering how you hated all of the gross foods, and I love gross foods. Have you ever had an ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in the Box? No, but I've been doing their hot, what, what, oh, where's Mike Shaw? What do we order all the time? From Jack in the Box. Steven. Um, the yeah, oh. I do their sriracha the spicy butter. spicy sriracha burger? Sriracha okay. spicy Their ultimate burger. cheeseburger is one of their, their sort of standbys. It's this big, thick thing that has a bunch of meat, a bunch of cheese. It's over. It's gross. It's overpowering. You got to be real drunk to you know handle it. Mm -hmm. This tastes like biting into that, mm. and then it kind of goes away from it, which is really interesting. So if you, mm. if you're into that, mm. all right, cool. Mm. Want to? Should we keep going? Are we done? Are we done yeah. with the snacks? Pick your favorite, Jess. Which one's your favorite? You know, honestly, I think I'm gonna go with the mango sriracha hummus and sriracha potato chips combo. Okay, that's a great combo. Yeah. I love the Frito bean dip because I think I like cat food and I'm gross. Um, <laughs> But I gotta give it up to maple bacon as the most, for me, uh, the tastiest new chip that I've had. That I was like, ooh, I wanna, I wanna try some more of this thing. So I gotta go maple bacon. You can get this at your local food stores. And we were told that, uh, was it Whole Foods? No. Yep. Whole, Whole Foods? Foods? Whole Foods, you can get a bunch of this crap. Maybe all of this, I don't know. Whole but Foods, we're in LA, Trader so we Joe's, it. and like your standard supermarket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. If you like our expert opinions on snacks, you might even be more entertained by some real expert opinions on movies. Let's check out cinephiles Kyle Anderson and my friend Sasha Pearl Raver talking about Land of Doom on Alpha's movie commentary show, Streaming VHS. I like that they always sleep until like four in the afternoon. <laughs> Listen, the apocalypse is exhausting. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, right, the bad guys we haven't yeah. seen in a really long time. Slater's prime maniacs. One over there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, maniac score. Ooh, composer earning their keep. Yeah. Oh, damn, we got girls. No one will be able to get over this three-foot wall. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, no! The bad raiders are in! Yes! Wow. <gasps> An actual explosion. Wait. That cost a lot of money. Yeah. That was impressive. That, I, yeah. My enjoyment of this movie just went up by quite a lot during that action sequence. I just want to see that dude throw the axe Another again. One <laughs> what? That could be the same one from a different angle. Nope. That's an idea. Wow. What, why wouldn't you just lay low and wait yeah, for them to them leave, leave, dummy? The shot okay, wait. Hold on. Now I'm starting to feel like we're seeing the same explosion yeah. over and over. Before I continue with this, I just want to say we were talking earlier about chat. Guys, if there's anything that you want us to try out for Snack Chat, let us know uh, either in the comments or send us an email or call Hector or something because we will we will try it. I think this is going to be a regular segment yeah. for, for all of it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, give us some ideas and we'll mm -hmm. test it out. With that, you can catch more of Kyle Anderson and the entire first season of Streaming VHS in the pristine archives of ProjectAlpha.com. Mm. We've had a great time being the center of your attention, <laughs> but I'm ready for someone else to take the limelight. These eight-legged sweethearts have been waiting the whole show for their time to shine, so get ready for the Mothership Challenge. But Chris, not into it. All right, so before we Spidey challenge each other, let's welcome the spit. That's not so, God damn it. Just fingers. That's what, God, if I had a dime. <laughs> let's welcome the spiders of the hour and their handler from Scales and Tails, Cassie. Yay! I will scoot far away from you, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. How's, Hi. How's, how's it going? Good, how Thank are you? you so much. I'm from great. Thank you so much for doing the show. Of course. Those are tarantulas in your hands. Yes, they are. What kind of tarantulas are those? We have a rose hair tarantula and a curly hair tarantula. Oh my gosh, okay. Cool. Uh, Did you get a look? <laughs> Did you get a close look at them? You know, I was actually, here's a legit question. Okay. Why is the one that is the rose hair a little like faster and moving around more than mm. the guy underneath? It, the they're curly just hair. active right now. Because he seems I mean, like he's, she's, he or she, I guess, I can't she. tell. She? she. she. How do you she's? tell? Yes. They're both she's. Oh, okay. Yes. How do you know what's a Life guy and a girl? Life finds a way, the, Jessica. The guys have a little hook at the front of their hand. It's, it's a weird thing, but you can't tell the difference. <laughs> cool. cool. I, uh, I'm so scared I forgot what I was going to ask. You were going to ask why one, why one lady is more active than the other, and I just feel like the answer oh, is yeah, sometimes. Oh, yeah, because this one seems like she's moving around a bunch, mm -hmm. and this one's, oh, well, no, nope, nope. she's oh. all fucked she's up now, too. Okay, oh, cool. She you're talking so about we you. have a rose hair tarantula she, and a curly hair tarantula, yeah. but before we get them to work, we'd love your help naming them because, oh, uh, yeah. So shout out some names or words or gibberish, and Hector and I will pick our favorites. We'll be checking all three chats, and the two community members responsible for winning the names will get a special Funko prize. So please make them good. The names. The Funko prizes are always good. The names. So uh, why do you, wh what makes tarantulas? <laughs> I have a hard time lying. What makes tarantulas cool? <laughs> they're an interesting pet. I mean, a lot of people get the cats and dogs and bunnies and stuff like that because they're fuzzy, but these are more of the exotic weird ones, so people like to have something weird and interesting and cool to look at and cool to occasionally handle and stuff. So, so these can be handled, right? Yes, these okay. ones can. There are some that can't, but these ones can. They can't because they're poisonous? They're just aggressive in general. Oh. There's certain ones. Has anybody died? From there's, tarantulas? Yeah, there's one sure. in Australia that is Again. that have been reported deaths, but we yeah. can't get those in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, do they make good pets? Yeah, they do. They're really simple. They're really easy. They're not 
the cuddly kind of pets that most people like, but they're very simple and easy pets. Mm -hmm. A lot of people love them. I liked Magalo Blazeman's uh, suggestion Betty of Betty and Veronica. I also like, oh, somebody just went through really fast. Bella, Donna, and something was another neat one. Mm. Yeah, Bella, Donna, and Rosebud. Okay. I like that one. All right. How about Gwen you? and Stacy's Ooh. good. I don't know, man. There's good. We got. I think we, we got, got some pick really one. good ones. We got to pick. Do we have to pick one person to win, or are we picking two winners? Two winners. Two winners. Two winners. Okay, so you pick right. one. I pick well, one. Well, then I'll pick Magalos. Okay. What are you gonna? Is it yours gonna be Betty or Veronica? I'll go with Veronica because I always thought Veronica was more interesting than Betty. Disagree. I'm a Tim Team Betty all the way. <laughs> That's why we get along so well. Exactly. <laughs> uh, all right. I gotta pick a name. Um, oh, hmm. I do like Johnny Hopkins Let's though. See here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, they're going by real fast. They are kind of fast. Galactic Sean says Alfred Huggington. I'll pick Alfred. From Galactic Sean, that'll be my winner. Thank you, okay. Galactic Sean. Cool. Okay, well, cool. congrats, guys. Okay. You won yes. some Funkos. Thank you for your contribution. We're going to be in touch to make sure that you get your prizes. We've got the tarantulas. We've got the names. Uh, Veronica. Yes. Alfred Huggington. Yes. So we have got the games. We're ready to go. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, all right. So this one's pretty straightforward. It is a race. We're going to put these gals in at the starting line and hope they move really quickly to the finish line. Cassie, mm -hmm. uh, will you do the honors? Yes, of course. Okay, great. So oh, this one's my lane, and this is okay. Jess's lane. All right. Okay. So whichever yeah. one is Jess's tarantula. These are not insects. They are arachnids. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cassie's definitely picking that up. Oh! No way! Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That. Cool, cool, cool. Fuck that. Everything's super Shit. cool. We're just going to go ahead and... Put Veronica down. Oh, Veronica's lovely. Look at that. She's fantastic. She doesn't want to leave your hands, and now also, she's Cassie, in there. Cool. Also, Cassie, I love your uh, your design. Thank you. Why am I blanking on what it's called? Very cool. Because Hena. there's Hena. spiders Thank nearby. You. That's yeah. right. That's why you're blanking. Oh, what's my name? Oh God. Okay. How do I get home? Okay. It's crawling out. It's crawling out. Oh, oh, uh, Veronica. And here comes Alfred Huggington. Oh, Veronica, get back in your lane, though. <laughs> Watch out for Alfred. He's gonna, she's gonna get away. All right, Alfred. I should have picked the lady name on re in retrospect. Okay. All right. We've got a, 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 a hundred yard line. All right. All right. You let us know when they're well, when wait, they're, you they're turn, off. You gotta turn. You gotta yeah, turn Veronica turn. towards the front. All right, and go. I mean, I might be scared, but I don't like being a loser. Going. Are we going? All right. We're going. Ready, go. That's it. On, can I blow on Veronica's butt? Somebody said to blow on her butt to make her move. Go, go, yeah. Go, go. Come on. Come on, Alfred. Go. Come on, Alfred. <laughs> Come on, Veronica. Why are you backing up? All right, this is bullshit. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can blow on him a little bit. Come on, yeah. look, I got a hand. Come get my hand. Hi. She has a little Hi. spider web coming out of her butt. Oh, yeah. There we go. Go. No, no, no. Come nope. on, girl. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm out. Cool. Don't like this game anymore. No, no, no. Oh no, my no, god, no. my hands are tingling. Go this way. Fuck. Go down, go down. Come on, Alfred. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh no. You didn't Come on, Alfred. Come, dude. Come on. Yes, your fear is being Oh my god. Oh, oh. 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 I was this close. Did you see that? Dang it! Does it make it even worse because I don't even care? Congratulations. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yay. Yay. oh my gosh. Guys, if you are in the Los Angeles or Burbank area, go to Scales and Tails. <laughs> Cassie's gonna be there. She's gonna hook you up with some tarantulas. These are beautiful Definitely. animals. Big thanks to Cassie from Scales and Tails for the living nightmares. I don't know how you do what you do, Cassie, but it's admirable and also gross. So thank you yeah. so much. Of course. Thank you so much. The show's almost over, and that means that the pizza should almost be gone. So we're going to check to see if it is. Amy, what kind of dent were you guys able to put into the pizza? I think it's totally um, gone. I'm very impressed with the dent we were able to put into the pizza. Uh, this, is, this is Ivan Van Norman and his son, Phoenix. Oh, well, that so nice. Say hi, Phoenix. Can you say dino for everybody? Or pizza? Yeah. Okay, so let's back up and show them. We've got like 20 pieces already, just for the record. Like yeah, he, this is Phoenix has contributed to at least 25% of this thing being gone at this point. Of course, so, thank so you. That's why you're so chubs. Chubby chub dubs. Doesn't care. Doesn't care why. But uh, we've got about probably 20 pieces left. So yeah, there, there is still yeah, more to be done. There is still more to be done. And, um, you know, I'm sure that when the night crew comes, it will just be an empty box and then Taliesin can have his little hidey hole 
that he's been looking so forward to for this entire evening. You know, so instead of paying a mortgage, he can just sit in the pizza box if he wants to. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but he, he is waiting for it still. So we are 20 pieces away from Chalison having a new home. <laughs> uh, Phoenix, are you willing to contribute to Talison's new home? Yeah, whatever, Dad. Just feed me more pizza. Okay. He loves it. All right. Uh, you, there's still more out here is the point, you guys. Yeah, is there anything you want me to ask Phoenix? Mm, uh, yeah, ask him uh, what his favorite song from Seal is. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Phoenix, what's your favorite song from Seal? Phoenix, what's your favorite Seal song? <laughs> There's your answer. So I, heard, I heard Kiss from a Rose. Nothing. That's what I heard. None. Okay. <laughs> I heard Kiss from a Rose. None? Ah! Are you going to smile? Phoenix. Yeah. That was worth it. Thank you so much, Amy. That's our show, guys. Big thanks to Cassie from Scales and Tales. One more time. Cassie, give her some love on the internet. She was awesome. Thanks to Amy Vorpal and the rest of the Legendary Office for helping us eat all that pizza. Uh-oh, ca cable. I don't know what I'm okay. supposed to say. You know what, guys? F it. I'm just going to go get whatever pizza's left. That's the plan. Yay. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Come on. We got to get a slice here. Can we go through here? Where yeah, we going? Around the back? Yeah, we can cut through here. Let's go this way. This okay, way? Great. Yeah, this okay, great. Okay. Yay. I hope there's a piece left. Cassie, do you want some pizza? Sure. If there's any left. Okay, Don't here we go. Look at all the behind the scenes. Look at all these guys. Just Look at all these guys. This is how the magic is made, hi, people. Hi, hi, hi. Yay. Yay. Hey. What's up, guys? <gasps> oh, that's okay. I can make do with some cheese. Okay. I've oh, actually man. eaten so many chips that I don't even think I want any more pizza. I thought it was going to be <laughs> finished. I know. But I think, I think when, when there are like 80 people being like, I don't want to have the last no. one, yeah. then you get 20 you get left. Many. You get that many Actually, left. Actually, I'm pretty chill on the pizza. Oh, Here I'll take go. this little Here slice. We go. Hey, guys. Mm. Stay tuned. Coming up next, your favorite show, the thing you've been waiting for all day. It's going to be so good. Why? Because it's got the sexiest dungeon master ever born, ever born. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew Mercer. So stay tuned for Critical Role happening right now. Bye, guys.
Jessica uh, says she wants a giphy of her uh, rubber spider ring. That was pretty good. I don't know where to go. I don't know. Do I walk? No. Let me peek in here. As long as it's... Mike's hot? Okay. Oh. I'm going to open the gate in here, too. Yeah, we did it.